Well, hello, welcome back to the channel with your host and driver DDD JDAP. Yes, we've got the finals finally, and we're gonna go for it. These were two amazing races, a lot of slipstreaming, amazing fights all over the place, and yeah, fight, yeah, just two ridiculous races. So Come and join me. Uh, but first of all, the format is simple. We have two races of 20 minutes, flat out, so no tire wear and no fuel rate. And we're driving the Ferrari 458 Italia Group 3 from 2013, I believe. From the hat. Poop. Ah, can't remember. I believe 2013 it is. But, um,. We're going to show you the championship standings first before we're going to start. So let me immediately get you into this. And let's hype myself. Mm, that way. Good. As we can see right now, we're going to go to the file. And I can mark things. <coughs> As we can see right now, we have Rick 147 in the lead. And as you can see in the yellow marked spaces over there, I'm watching on my screen over here. So that's why I do not look at you. That's disgusting. Okay. Um, yeah, the yellow marked says that on the bottom over here, if you have driven in another group than you would normally do, you only get 70% of the achieved points in that race compared to the normal group you would race in okay but we see further on rick nearly competed in every race only these two races he didn't compete in and he's got seven and ten and a half points in the first two races because he raced in group b whilst he normally should be in group a but further on, it was a first with a uh, fastest lap, a first with a fastest lap, a second place, a first place, two no races, and yet again, a win with a fastest lap Six, uh, for consecutively <laughs> after that again. And now we only have the two races here left. And as you can see here on the right upper part, it says a total minus four scrape results. So you can delete four of your worst results. And as we can see for Rick 147 right now, it is only these two races from the 6th of March, of March the 6th. And the two races still yet to come. So if he can, if he can better these two, compared to the first two races and those two races you can skip the first two skip the ones from six, uh, the March the 6th and his total will be absolutely ridiculous what what a season so far for Rick 147 <laughs> amazing stuff so in second we have Hugo Hugo 54 and a total of 119 without the scrape results. And 103 right now with the scrape results implemented. And that gives him 7.5 points to catch up. But as we can see, he competed in every single race so far. So he has to do better with his last two races than his worst four results. Or his worst two results, of course, because there's only going to be two races, so you can only better those. And that's going to be uh, the third and the fourth race where he scored seven and nine points. So he has to do better than that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's going to be difficult for him to gain a lot of more points. Because if you score the fastest lap with a race win, you get 16 and that will only result over here if he has 16 in nine extra points. And uh, with the nine result over here, it's going to be only seven extra points. But as we said, Rick 147, 
has two really bad results so far. And if he can better that, he's going to be definitely the champion. So it's looking good for Rick147 and less good for Hugo and less good for Monik as well below it. But Monik is really close with his 98 points to Hugo and still have some, some left to improve. As we can see, we have in the beginning a 9 result and at the end a double 9 re uh, result. And of course still the two zeros, but that's going to be the next two races. So he has to do better than that. And if we quickly grab this. The... So he has to do better than, better than seventh place. To explain it simply. From one until 60. Of one, from first place until fifth place number 15. You get points. Because winning is 15. Second is 14. Third is 13. And so on. All the way to 15 and 16th is. Excuse me. Zero points. So you nearly always get points. <clears throat> so it's always good to continue and finish. Well, that's why it's so close. But with those four script results, it's going to be difficult for Marnik. I think Marnik especially to gain um, a little bit easier for Hugo to gain because he has that seven and nine points. And Marnik, uh, his lowest finish so far has nine points. And that's the seventh place I said. Was it seventh? No, it was uh, yeah seventh place. Um, below that we have Arno, our reigning champion. He had an amazing start with a double win. After that, uh, double third place, and then uh, is that second? Oh, okay, double fourth place, and then a third place. Then he had a shitty race. <laughs> so it's easy to gain a couple of points over there. Fuck off. And then he had a 15 and an 11, so he had a win and I believe a fourth place or fifth place, a fifth place result, yes. And after that, of course, there's still races to come. The two races, oh, sorry, the two races to come. And he didn't compete in the last of the 13th of March, the 13th. So it's possible for him to gain as well because the double zero is going to be deleted. But if he wants the gain, it's going to be that four points over there. So he scores better than a four points is 12th place. That's going to be a gain for him. And he's on 97 points compared to the 98 of Marnik. Um, what else? Yeah, you have the 11 result. He needs the better. So yeah, he can gain a bit. <clears throat> it's going to be more difficult for Marnik to gain. So it's difficult for Marnik to get up to second place. Nearly impossible to win the championship compared to Rick 47. And then, of course, it's really possible for uh, Ono to get third place or even second place if he really performs well. And then we have Walters. But I can tell you already, Walters uh, couldn't compete so get up, Walters. Couldn't compete in the last race, so he's not going to gain anything. He stays on 97 points. Uh, Rein will be in this race. Oh, bonus. Bonus 69. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, he can still gain because he had um, uh, two non-races at the third and the fourth event, as we can see. And then he still has the two races to come. But if we uh, if he does better in these two races, still it's going to be four scrape results. So it's going to be the six over here, the first race, the six points, and the eight points in the sixth race. He needs it. Oh, he needs the better. Possible. So he can gain from the eighty six points he has right now, but he has to do pretty damn good. And the same applies to Jaden. Do 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 Jaden. <laughs> wow, quite mm, decent, reasonable results with uh, seven points over here and a double seven points in the last two races. So if he does well, he can score and do better. In, yeah, if he improves, got seven points 
what kind of place is that? Ninth. So if he finishes finishes eighth or higher, he can gain as well. He's on 84 points. Then we have Tamil. Tamil has a seven and a two for the first two races. So the two is really bad. And here he has two none races or did not start. Um, after that, he slowly gained more and more and more and more and got better. Fucking amazing. Did an amazing end of the, se of the season. And now still two races to come. So if he does better in his last two races, he can delete that two and that seven from the first two races. And these are going to be scrape results as well. Then we have Karistos. And number nine has quite some variable numbers because it starts with a two and go quarter of a much it starts with a two then two or three then six then eight then three then seven then six then ten then fourteen and then ten points so slowly gaining as well but has some ups and downs in this season and the last two results can give him way better points because he has a two and a three in the first two races and even a three at the fifth race and he has a total of 64 points, so it's going to be difficult to overhaul Tamil for that. And then we have Chris, who mostly competed in Group B, as you can see, because everything, nearly everything is yellow. Didn't compete in the last two races, and I don't know if he's going to compete in these two, but he's not going to compete in Group A. That's for sure, and that I know. So he could have bet at his total of 61.5. And... A half. Um, to at least conclude the whole or well, we have the top 10 right now but we're going to include Yopodex as well because he raced the whole season and we have to include him with this because he can overtake uh, Chris Fias 28 for 10th place and he has been starting steadily with 8 points 5 points 8 points 7 points 5 points after that a little bit of a drop to three points then again nine seven and then a little bit of a drop to four and then eight so if he continues this streak he at least will better the five and the three in the middle over here to get a better end result and possibly overhaul chris vs 28 mm -hmm. so yeah with that being said let's get the stream lapse again Let's get myself back over here. Ah! He's back. My God. You are hideous. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and let's get the game capture different. Because we're going to go into this one. And then we're going to show you the starting order. And let's hope my new PC... It's going to show you how it looks and how it should look. Let's get that already open. So you can hear whatever the game provides us with. Oh, we can't focus anymore. Yes, yeah, good. Focus. Focus! And now, that was already nearly a 20-minute intro. God damn, that took way too long. <laughs> oh, well, you can skip it, of course. Except if you watch live. Mm. It's a weekend. Easter weekend. How are you all enjoying Easter? Well, it's not even the first day of Easter. But, of course, we're going to run you through the starting order. And we know our competitors are for the season. Which were it again? We have, of course, um, Monik. Of we have, yeah, we have Monik, Arno, and Walters for place number three, but Walters it doesn't compete. And then we have Rickman 47 and Hugo for the championship lead. And behind that, we have uh, Bonus and Jaden for sixth place. Those are the most exciting battles we, we can find. And we'll have to make sure we keep an eye on that. <clears throat> First of all, make sure we're ready. Mm -hmm. Let's hide this one. 
I do not like it. Demoralizing. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Quickly on board. And as we can see, the number three in the championship standings. I'm going to show myself the championship standings just to make sure we can see and do better. You'll see whatever you see on my screen over here right now. You have Monik starting in pole position, the third place guy in the championship with 98 points. And then we have Rick 147. Our championship leader with 110 and a half points, but he can do better than that. We know that because he has two races competed in Group B, so that can be better. And has still uh, has already two none of did not starts. Then we have Ono in third place, uh, reigning champion of season number one from 2020-14 of 2024. <clears throat> and he's starting in third and is in fourth place right now with 97 points so he's absolutely ridiculously close to monic the pole setter for this race then we have hugo who is competing for the championship together with brickman 47 but it's going to be really difficult for him to do that because he needs the better way better and he needs to win and has the fastest lap and um for brickman 47 to crash or something or end up really low down the order um, then we have Tamil doing an amazing job um, with this kind of position compared to the other competitors because Tamil is in 8th place with 76 points. Maybe it's possible for him to overhaul uh, Jaden, but Jaden starts just behind him in 6th place and he's in 7th place in the championship with 84 points. And then we have Kodestas in 7th place starting on the grid. And... He is ninth with 64 points, so that's not going to be a real contest compared to uh, Tamil and Tamil versus Jaden. It's going to be difficult as well, unless, of course, Tamil wins and Jaden doesn't finish both races really well. Then we have Bonus starting in eighth, and he is just above Jaden in sixth place with 86 points. And then we have Jopadex, as I mentioned, he raced all season, so we had to include him. Uh, with 57 points just behind behind Chris Fierce 28. Um, but possible to overhaul Chris Fierce 28 because Chris Fierce 28 is not going to compete. Then we have one of the new guys that's Argulik. <clears throat> Argulik. <laughs> oh, jeez. New names. Always difficult. How do we going to call him? Guluk, 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 Guluk. Yeah, Guluk. I heal it. Rutje. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. okay but our uh, gulik in 10th and then we have konis uh he's nearly at the bottom of the list i believe if we look at it yeah nearly at the bottom of the list he only competed in race number nine and scored eight points over there but that should be seven and i should have eight remember that denny <laughs> um who else do we have we have troy troy 070 at the hog. Um, he is in what is it? Uh, 14th place right now with 28 points. Nearly competed in every single race, only the first and the second he didn't, and the seventh and the eighth race he didn't. <clears throat> Further, he competed in every single one. He is on 28 points, as I said, in 14th place in the championship. Starts 12th on this race, and then we have only left racing. Uh, I don't believe he didn't score any points yet, so he isn't in the list. But, yeah, starting in 13. And as I said, this is really special. Only left racing. Uh, races where only his left foot, as I remember. Yeah, only his left foot. <clears throat> That's why it's only left racing. So he throttles and he breaks with his left foot because he doesn't have a right or foot leg. <clears throat> So yeah, cap off. Like you're racing and you're still quick. <clears throat> That's amazing stuff, dude. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. The good way. Moist. Let's switch it up. Back to stream laps. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, we can start. And we're ready. B 
<laughs> you only have nine laps in this race. I have to tell you, um, we just simply calculate how much time it will take to race 20 minutes because normally it would set on 20 minutes, but because Gran Turismo is beep, well, not beep, but as soon as uh, 20 minutes are passed. You get over the start finishing line, you finish. But if the number one, two, and three, for example, cross the finish line with 19 minutes and 50 seconds to go, something like that, and the number four comes in at 20 minutes and one second, he's finished and everybody else as well. So there is no possibility for those guys to overtake the others, and the others can do an extra lap, and especially the as I said, the number three um, in that race <clears throat> can take every single risk to get the fastest lap, crash or whatever. He will definitely finish four, uh, third at that point. At that point, so we calculate how many laps twenty minutes will take, and we set a certain amount of laps. If you're lapped, then it's shit. Then you've done a really bad job. But this is this is uh, giving everybody a more fair opportunity to at least <clears throat> do the full race distance. We're gonna need the headset. Yes! Oh, the neighbors are probably gonna complain again. <laughs> Okay, as far as I know, we are ready, right? We have a standing start, of course. <clears throat> Scrape a little bit the voice. And here we're going to go. Into race number one. In three, two, one, go! Here we're going to go. Rickman 47, of course, in second place compared to Marek as the reasonable start. Who's going to be faster into the first quarter? Here they're going to come into La Source. Herpin. And is there going to be any shenanigans? No shenanigans yet. Is anybody going to drive wide? No, nobody's done. Oh, there's a little bit of a pile up at the back. And Marek goes really wide over there. Tries to break the slips into Rickman 47. Rickman 47 had a better exit out of the first quarter. And is going to go first into Eau Rouge. Here they come. Oh, they're going to be side by side. Oh, my God. This is going to be difficult to keep it all together and still we have Otto in third and we have Hugo in fourth, Tamil in fifth. Tamil, I believe, no, he did not gain anything and Marduk immediately takes over the lead yet again. Is that possible? And two, Lacombe. Here they come, three white, nearly three white. Marnik side by side with Brickman 47. Oh, and it's going to be tight. A little bit of a drift over there from Marnik. And Brickman 47 is still on the inside and takes the lead back from Marnik. Oh, 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 what a good stuff. And take a look how close everybody is. Here we're going to see a nice overshot. And then we have Arno. Still a third, Hugo in fourth, Jade in the fifth, overtook Tamil. Tamil is a half second penalty. And here they're going to go again. Marnik for the lead on the outside. Oh, Frickma 47. Oh, is that possible? He's just a little bit wide over there. Arno's going to overtake him. Arno is in second place right now. And is Hugo going to profit of that as well? He does. Into Puhon. Here they come. Oh, side by side still. And it's going to be single fire. But take a look at how close everybody is. My God, this is ridiculous. Oh, Amari goes a little bit wide over there. He's going to lose even more places. Here he comes. Jaden is in fourth. And Tamil tries to overtake him on the outside over there. And it, Marnik is on the inside. No, he settles in fifth. Uh, right behind Jaden. Oh my god, that's a shitty start for Marnik. He started pole position, is in fifth right now. Anybody else overtaking anybody else? I don't know, Tamil has that half second penalty. He's gonna drop back uh, definitely behind Gulik. And here we're gonna go. We're gonna see that penalty for, Mar for Tamil. And of course, you know what we're gonna do. Oh, there is shenanigans right at the back over there. What is happening? Troy is in the, in the wall. Goodness, this is all over the place. One left racing. Oh, first of all, the start. It's time for a Let's get a walk. Wait. Look about 47. Let's get all the way back to the beginning. To the start. And let's get on board with him and see how much better he started compared to Marnik. Here we are. 
<laughs> okay, Monik, Monik just chatted. I regret watching already. <laughs> I can imagine. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Monik. I have to cover it. I cannot exclude it. Sorry for that. <laughs> As we can see, three, two, one, here he comes. He has a little bit of a better start, but Monik is going to defend the inside into Lasso's hairpin. And that's not the ideal line, of course. Um, Rig 147 has a way better exit because of that. And they're side by side. And I remember from the voice chat what Rig 147 said. Oh, no, Monik, you do not dare this to stay over there. So he slots in behind, and that's how Monik got behind Rick 147 but of course we have the slipstream over here and he has a little bit of overspeed a little bit of lag over here and he tries to hold Rick 147 really narrow and as we can see right really closed up because of the double slipstream he had of the two guys in front they leave each other enough space and this is Rick 147 one of his specialties this corner to jump on the inside and Monik has to slot in behind yet again but of course, next corner is going to be next opportunity to overtake on the inside over here. Rick 147 yet again leaves enough space. Fair racing with Race Team Walt. That's always Ooh, a little bit of a wiggy wiggy ball over there from Rick 147. Keeps the inside and Monica goes a little bit wide over here. And as we can see, there, go, there comes Arno. I thought it was Ryan, sorry. Excuse me. And then we have Hugo. And this is how he ended up in fourth place. Tries to slot in here and gets a little bit of a bump trap from Jaden over there. Oh, there is no touch bar. There is nearly no space anymore. Oh, goes a little bit wide over there. And that nearly drops him back to sixth place. Tamila's on the outside over here, but Monik has the better line and slots just in front of Tamil. Whoa! That is how Monik ended up in fifth. But let's go back, back, back in the back. And we have an instant replay. Okay. <laughs> We want to see from whose perspective do we want to see the restart again? Let's see. Christus. Christus ended up all the way at the back. So let's see his first lap. Yeah. Oh, he has a really bad start. A lot of wheel spin. That's why Bonus got uh, seventh place immediately at the start. Here we have Jopadex on the inside. Kane is on the outside. A little bit of a pileup over here. They're nearly standing still. Troy is on the outside over there. But everybody leaves just enough space to let each other live and as we can see in the foreground that Monica uh, Rick 47 had a really tight battle and here it is side by side Jopin X and Christus into Orush half of Orush oh, and Troy got pushed wide by Christus a little bit naughty disgusting <clears throat> and as we can see that battle a little bit further up front and here we can see a half second penalty for uh, Cody's as well and we see Gulag breaks way later then we have Jade and Tamil next to each other and that battle is won by Jaden. And that battle for third place was won by Arno. And let's see a little bit further back. Sorry for the chaotic skips. And then we have Troy next to Koristus. And let's see what happened, uh, happens between these three guys. Because it's going to be quite a horrendous crash. Here we have it. Koristus coming out of the no-name corner. Or corner with no name. I don't know how to say it. There we saw a little bit in the foreground. The battle for of the... <laughs> yeah, all the places. Monik lost. Sorry about that, Monik. Yet again. Here we have it. On board with Christus. There we see Monik slotting in in fifth place. Just behind Jaden. Just in front of Tamil. And then we have Kona still with a half second penalty. Well, Tamil has had a half second penalty as well. Jopadex with a big wiggle 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 wobble over there. Out of the corner. Out of Brussels, I believe. No, it's not Brussels. I don't know. Fangio, it's called. And here it comes. Does Carissus go a little bit too wide? Yes, it goes on to the AstroTurf. And it's probably going to spin and hit Troy. Oh, that was a T-bone. My God, and only left racing just came out of that. And it would have been nice for Carissus to at least wait here for Troy. He has right uh, front suspension damage and Troy has front bumper damage and left and right front suspension damage. But let's continue all the way back up front and let's see into the bus steps again. There was a big wiggy 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 from there. Jaded over there and that's going to be an opportunity for Marnik to overtake Jaded into Lasso's hairpin for fourth place and he does on the inside. <clears throat> Is there going to be any extra fighting over there? No, it's not. And then we have bonus. Bonus ended up in sixth. Oh, it's in sixth. 
we already saw that. Oh, well, he wasn't seven, but Tamil, of course, dropped back to all the way behind Gulik because of his half second penalty. Let's go a little bit further up front and let's see. We have Rukman 47 all the way in the lead, but Ono right on his still in the slipstream. Is it possible for Ono to overtake him already on this straight? There's going to be a lot of slipstream battles. Hugo is really close behind as well. Here he comes. Rickman 47 with a defensive line into Lacombe. Here he comes on the outside. Is that possible? Yes, it is. No, it's not. And here comes Rickman 47 in his specialty on the inside yet again. Back. No, but Otto lets his car stay at the right. Ah, I want to speak Dutch. That's not correct. But in, second, in first place, and Hugo overtakes him as well for second place. <laughs> but is it possible for Rickman47 to pass him again? No, it's not. And he has to settle for third right now. We'll have to see that again. how that work out? It's a replay! Let's get a ball with Hugo. From his perspective, we could see, uh, could see it uh, the best. As we can see right now, Ono oh right in the slipstream. Rickman47 with that defensive line into the Lacombe chicane. On the outside, and a specialty, of course, of Rickbone 47. And we see Marnik already. Oh no, he's in fourth place, was fighting with Jaden. And we can see Rickbone 47 still on the inside, but had that shitty, uh, had a shitty exit over there. And that gave Hugo the opportunity to profit it, profit from it. And Rickbone 47 still on the inside over there, but it's going to be the outside for this corner. And that's how he ended up in third. And because of all the fighting, Monik is really close behind, and Jaden as well. <clears throat> what a battles up front, my god. Then we have Tamil back in sixth, he overtook Gulik on the straight. And then we have Bonus in eighth, and he has a half second penalty. You have Konis fighting with Jopadex over there, Jopadex with a half second penalty as well. And the only left racing with a half second penalty as well. In 11th, then we have Chris in 12th trying to fight back, and then we have Troy all the way at the back. But let's go all the way up front, we have Otto in the lead. Then we have Hugo in second and Rickman 47 right on his tail. Is it possible for Rickman 47 to make another pass and at least score of take second place and fight for the win yet again? They're fighting all over the place and we can see Tamil and Gulik fighting for sixth place as well on the background. But who's going to overtake who? We can see Jaden drops a little bit back but it's going to be one huge slipstream battle. Here he comes, pro probably into the bus stop chicane. He thinks about it, Rickman 47, but he cannot make the pass stick. He doesn't do it. And then we have Jaden and Monik. And I believe Jaden overtook Monik with a huge dive bomb. We'll have to see that again. There's that red light! <laughs> what a dive bomb. Yes, take a look at that. All the way back from here to fourth place. He outbreaked himself massively. And luckily, he just about could make the corner, but Marnik had to take had to take evasion actions over there. Take a look at that. As you can see from Marnik's perspective, here he comes. Ding, 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 ding. Hello. Luckily, Marnik saw it coming. It didn't end up in a crash, but Jaden outbreaked himself massively. And there we have. Tamil and Gulik still fighting over 6th place. And let's go a little bit further in front because we can see the overtake from Rick147 on Hugo. And he pushes Hugo wide. Whoa, that was risky and tricky. What happened over there? Oh, we have to see that again as well. But, oh, and Jaden in 3rd place as well. Push the red light. We want to see that again. Let's see it from Rick147, his perspective. Here he comes, into the lasso's happen. Dives to the inside at the latest possible moment. Is on the inside, pushes Hugo a little bit wide. Hugo goes wide because of that. It's on the dirty part of the track, outside of the track, of course. And that gave Jaden the opportunity to pass him for third place. And Hugo drops from second all the way to fourth. That's not good. That's not good for the championship, but he's pushing Jaden along. Is there going to be any bump draft over here on the straight, on Camel Straight? And Rickman 47 has the least exit. Oh no. Rickman 47 let Hugo pass again. I think he did. Uh, I think he thought it wasn't fair how he passed Hugo into the first corner. Because let lo let's look at his turtle implication. Let's see if he lifts off on the straight. Because the speed difference was so fucking huge. Hmm. Let's see that again. 
Here he comes. Everybody behind. Yes, he lets go of the throttle. Here comes Jaden. Here comes Hugo. And let's see that battle for second place right now between Jaden, Hugo, and Monik. And everybody overtakes Rickman 47. Rickman 47 drops all the way back to fifth right now. And Hugo is on the inside of Jaden. And Monik tries it on Hugo. But Jaden is still in second. Hugo is in third right now. Monik is in fourth. And we have Rickman 47 in fifth. Ho, 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 you guys. My God. And this gives Arno the opportunity to go all the way. Oh, and. Rick 47 tries it on the outside of Monik into Brussels. Is that possible? No, it's not. He's still in fifth place. And then we have Monik in the corner with no name. Still in fourth. And we see Tamil run a little bit wide over there. And Tamil crashes and spins out. No! Whoa, my God, Tamil, what are you doing? You were in a really good position. I we'll have to see that again. It's time to replay! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tamil, what are you doing? And after that, we're going to see the battle for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Place number one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I have to get used to this again. <laughs> I have to treat myself a little bit more. As we can see that battle here up front between second, third, fourth and fifth place. And here we're going to see Tamil closely followed by Gulick and Koenis. And behind that bonus as well. And that's it. Yeah, he runs a little bit wide over here. Out of the corner with no name and runs a little bit too wide, spins out. Luckily, he doesn't hit anybody and nobody is affected by that. Only himself, but not, or luckily for him, no damage as well. But all the way in 11th place and Karistus scratched as well. What happened to Karistus? Did he do exactly the same? Yep. Carbon copy. Boof. But he does have damage. Left front, right front and front bumper damage. Let's go all the way up front again because the battle for second place is still ongoing. Here we have it and Arno is gone. We have Jade at the second, then we have Hugo in third, then we have Marnik in fourth, the Rick 147 in uh, fifth. And then we saw a battle for seventh place, but Gulick in sixth, Cohen in seventh, and then we have Bonus in eighth. <clears throat> Yopanex in ninth. Let's go all the way up front again. Here we have that battle. Jaden pulled a little bit of a gap, but I believe Hugo is still in the slipstream and Marnik is as well. Is, is it possible for Monik to make that move into the bust-up chicane? Let's see. Let's wait. Is you going to put up a defensive line? No, he does not. And no, it's not possible for Monik to make that move over there. And we still have Rick 147, our championship leader in fifth place. And Arno, our reigning champion in first. Oh, and Rick 147 runs a little bit wide over there. That gives Gulick the opportunity to close up a little bit. And as we can see, Hugo is faster than Jaynet is right now. Here they're going to go. Who's going to be the fastest out of Lasso's happen? It's going to be Hugo. Whoa, and a huge slide from Gulag over there. A big wiggle 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 wobble. Yes, yes, yes. And there is a huge battle behind that as well between Konus, Bonus, and Jopadex. Let's see if anything changes in the timetable on the left side of your screen. And here it comes. Hugo on Jaden. Is it possible? He has the absolute... Perfect slipstream. I believe Jaden puts up already a defensive line. No, he does not. Hugo goes to the inside into the Lacoom chicane and he doesn't make it work. No, he does not. Yes, he does. Oh, the side by side. Oh, a little bit of a touch over there. Oh, and it's Jaden still on the inside. Oh, sorry. I skipped the wrong way. And Jaden is still in second place. And Monik is in fourth and has the opportunity to go for second place as well. He tries it on the inside. Oh, there's a little bit of a push. And yet again, Jaden is wide. Oh, Monik is on the inside into the brussels and here he comes into so the no-name corner and jaded is still in second place and they're fighting all over the place and honor was absolutely gone because of this oh yo 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 left right and center but let's watch into puhan and we have hugo and monik side by side and is that oh monik runs a little bit wide and that gets rick 47 fourth place right now hugo is in third still in third rick 47 gained the place because of that Oh, and that single file again. What the hell went on over there? We'll have to see that again. It's that replay. Pfft. That was a lot going on over there. Let's go back, 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 and back, 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 and back. It all started, of course, on the camel straight over here. We can see Rick 47 has the slipstream of Monik, and then we can see Hugo making the move on Jaden on the inside, but goes a little bit wide. The old switch roof from Jaden on Hugo on the outside, a little bit of a touch over there, and they're side by side still into this corner. And Monik tries it on the inside, and they're gonna go three wide into Brussels. No, they're not. 
Yes, Monik on the inside of Jaden, and Jaden breaks not just oh, Monik breaks later than Jaden and pushes himself uh, to the inside and overtakes Hugo because of that. And Jaden doesn't give up. He's on the right side over here, and Monik runs a little bit wide over there. That gives Hugo the opportunity to, to repass Monik for third place. And Rick 47 is on the inside of Monik as well, leaves him enough space and a little bit of a push of Hugo over there, runs him a little bit wide, and Rick 47 is through and done, and that's over, and you, uh, Gulick nearly can pass Monik as well, a little bit of a bump draft there, I don't believe that was intentional, but <coughs> what a fight guys, Jesus bloody Christ, fights all over the place, and we're still on only lap 4 out of 9, we still have 5 to go, and this lap, So we have Rickman 47 right now in fourth place. Then we have Hugo in third, Jaden in second, and Otto far, far in the lead. He's gone. If he doesn't make any mistakes, that's going to be a win for him. Right now has the fastest lap as well. We have Hugo in second place fighting together with Jaden, Rickman 47, and Monik is closing up yet again as well. Oh, a little a huge light over there from Monik. I did, do not know how he kept it. Let's see that again. I want to see that again. With well, it is there, baby! Okay. <laughs> Let's get a book with Monik. A huge drift in Blagemont. Take a look at that. Was that a little bit of a push? Or did he run a little bit too hard onto the curb? He does, yes. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. that was a tricky one, Monik. Saved nicely. And Monik was pretty involved. Of was involved pretty in much all of it. As he said, and here we have Rick 47 on the inside of Hugo because I don't know what, because I didn't see that. So let's skip a little bit back. Oh, he dives on the inside of Hugo, thought about passing Jaden. Jaden went a little bit deep. Hugo runs wide over there. And because Jaden has the racing line, it gives Rick 47 the opportunity to do the old switcheroo and that side by side to watch Lasso's happen on the start finishing straight right now. And here they're gonna go, and Rick 47 drives Hugo really narrow. Goes to the outside over there, tries the old switcheroo, it's not possible, St sticks on the outside, and Hugo le uh, leaves him enough space out of the lasso's happen. Here they're going to go side by side into a rouge. Is that possible? Let's see if there's going to be any crash, and if it's possible, no, Rick 47 slots in behind, and it's still in fourth place, but gives Monik and Gulick behind it the opportunity to close up again, and they're all in the slipstream of Jaden. So Jaden is going to be the weakest link right now, and is already the weakest link because he's the slowest of them all. And we have Rick 47 right in the slipstream of Hugo. Is he going to bump draft them? He's going to bump draft them. And here they're going to come, both on the inside of Jaden. They're going to try it both. No, he does not. Yes, he does. And Rick 47 of Hugo is past Jaden for third place. And Rick 47 with a specialty at the last corner of the Lacombe. She gains in third right now. Wiggles his tail because, uh, <laughs> because he liked that move. What an amazing move. It goes a little bit deep over here into Brussels. Is it possible for Jaden to pass him, repass him again? No, it's not. And Monik tries it as well on Jaden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a fight, guys. Oh, and a huge biggie wacky big wobble over there in the no name corner for Monik. And Gulik is on the inside into Puhon. Is that possible to overtake him over there? No, it's not. We'll have to see the whole sequence uh, again. It's the replay! What the hell went on? It all started on Camel Street yet again. Here we have that whole train behind Jaden. And let's see it over here. Backwards. There we have Hugo. Got a bump drop from Rickman 47. He's on the inside over here. And Rickman 47 couldn't pass him. But one of his specialties is throttle out over here. Put it on the inside of Brussels. And can pass Jaden as well. Jaden drops back all the way to fourth from second. And here we have Monik. Oh, at least uh, Rick 47 have break themselves a little bit. Monik gives Jaden a little bit of a push over there. And Rick, uh, Jaden is next to Rick 47, but it's not possible to overtake on the outside over here. You have to be side by side. And then we have that huge wiggle 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 wobble from Monik. And it's nearly possible for Kulik to pass him yet again. And Jaden cannot make that pass. And Puhon fakes it to the inside, but it doesn't put off Rick 47. So let's continue. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. What a race so far. I love it. I like it. Very good, very good, very good. <laughs> oh, do you have Gulick trying to move on Monik into Fangio? I believe it's Fangio, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Of, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, do that. Is it Fangio? Yes. And here we have Stavolo. Stavolo, are we? Oh, Monik goes wide over there. And that gives uh, Jaden the opportunity. No, he's still in fifth place. What happened over there? We'll have to see that again. I want to see that again. There's a replay. Okay. Let's go on board with Monik. Monik was involved in every single move. Here into Brussels. Gulick behind it. 
He runs a little bit wide over there, corrects it nicely. Trottles out, a uh, huge wobble over there from Jaden. Oh, that's why. And that's why Marduk is on the outside, runs a little bit wide over there. And Gulag nearly has the opportunity to go on the inside of the second corner of Stavolo. But couldn't make that pass stick and thought better of it. Nicely done. Let's go a little bit further up front. We see Hugo pulls out a gap over Rickman 47 in second place, but cannot overtake Ono anymore unless Ono makes a mistake, of course. Then we have Rickman 47 in third right now, the championship leader, and Jaden in fourth. Then we have Mardik in fifth, right behind it, Gulick, and then Bonus. And Bonus already caught up with the whole top three, top two, and Bonus tries it on the inside, but Gulick tries to move on Mardik into the bust-up chicane. That's not possible. And Bonus tries the old switcheroo over here. No, he cannot perform it as well. And Yopadex, because of all the fighting, closes up as well. So we have the whole top eight really close behind each other. And here we have the fight for sixth place between Bonus and Gulick. Until the shows happen. Bonus tries the old switcheroo, but Gulick parks it on the apex. Nicely done. Does he have the better exit? They have just about the same exit. And then we see Jada in fourth place right now. <clears throat> Leading the pack. Well, the closest pack we have. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. Monik on Jaden. Is that possible? We can see Rick 47 closing up to Hugo as well. And are there any passes here on the Camel Straight? No, not yet. In the, into Lacombe. No, it's not. Oh, and another penalty for bonus. A half second penalty. And runs a little bit deep into the first part of the Lacombe chicane. <gasps> and Yopalax can close up uh, even more. Let's go a little bit further up front. We can see that fight between Monik and Jaden, and Monik breaks way later into Brussels compared to Jaden does. Let's go a little bit further up front because they're better for second place. That's going to be the Titus. No, it's not the Titus. So we have Jaden, Monik, and Gulik all for fourth place. Oh, it finally settled a bit. <laughs> Peef Puff, it's called, I believe. Peef Puff. Yeah, this one coming up. Yeah, maybe it's this one. I believe it's called Fangio. If I'm correct. But we can call it Peef Puff as well if you want. Peef Puff! So here, Marnik coming out of Peef Puff. Right behind Jaden. And we can see he's quicker than Jaden. Jaden runs a little bit wide over there. With a bit of understeer. The Ferrari likes that. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Oversteer, understeer, oversteer, understeer. <laughs> That's about the whole description of the Ferrari. Let's go a little bit further in front. Let's see Rickman 47. No, he's not close enough. So we have that battle for fourth place between Marnik and Jaden. <clears throat> and an amazing livery on Marnik's car. Credits to whoever, whoever made it. We have a huge uh, design livery department with Race Team Walters. So all the liveries you see over here are RTW liveries. But all different. And you can adjust them as well to your personal likings. Here we come into La Source Happen. Monik absolutely on the tail of Jaden. <clears throat> Coming up to Orush, and we saw Gulag run a little bit wide over there. And that's going to lose him a little bit of ground to fourth and fifth place. And we can see Yopadex really. Oh, Yopadex passed. Mar oh, yeah, Yopadex passed uh, bonus because of that half second penalty of uh, bonus. And Bonus is in 8th place right now. And here we have Marnik passing Jaden on the Camel straight. And is that possible for Jaden to keep that place or not? Oh, and it's going to be difficult until the Lacombe chicane. But who's going to break the latest? They're going to go side by side over here. Marnik throttles out a little bit harder. And that's 4th place for Marnik. Nicely done. Good move. Oh, runs a little bit wide over there. Is it possible for Jaden to do the, abs of the immediate cutback? No, it's not. And then we have Gulag with a half second penalty. Oh, Jaden drifts wide over there. Gulag with a half second penalty. Then we have Bonus back in seventh place and uh, Jopadex back in eighth place. Let's go a little bit further up front because I can see Rickman 47 closing up to Hugo. He does. And let's see a little bit further back. Then we have Monica fourth. Then we have Jaded the fifth. Then we have Gulag in sixth. Uh, Bonus in seventh. Jopadex in eighth. And then we have Tamil in ninth. Then we have Only Left Racing in tenth. Then we have Coristas in eleventh. And Troy quit it. And Ono all the way in the lead. Well, let's see that battle for second place. And meanwhile, take a look at the timetable. If anything changes, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here he comes, Rick 147, the championship leader. We can see he's faster, and he has purple sector times. What a purple overall time so far into this lap. He already has the fastest lap, and he even goes faster than this. Ridiculous! 
Let's see a little bit further back if there are going to be any slipstream battles. Oh no! Jaden has gone! No! Jaden! What happened? Front bumper damage, left front suspension damage. All the way back in 11th of a ninth right now. Let's start replay! What did you do, you dumb wit? Whoa, backwards over here. Still in fifth place over here behind Monik. Let's see. Does he run a little bit wide over here? No, he does not. And is it going to be the Astro Turf as Carissa's did? And I can't remember who else did it. Yes, yeah, just that tiny little tap with his left rear tire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He drops him all the way back to eighth. And here comes Stamil. And there comes Only Left Racing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was in fifth place. Could have scored good points. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God damn it, you dumb wit. What an idiot. Yep, it drops all the way back to 10th place because of the damage. Let's go all the way up front again, because right now, who we have? We have Mardik in 4th, and here we have still the battle for 2nd place with Rick 47 and Hugo. Is that possible into the Lasso's happen? No, it's not yet, but we'll have to see. Bonus in 5th, then we have uh, Gulik in 6th, and Jopadex in 7th, and then we have Tamil. Let's see a little bit further up front, because the battle for 2nd place is on. It is on right now, Rick 47. Pulls out of the slipstream because he wants to have a better slipstream out of Eau Rouge onto Camel Straight. That's amazingly smart what he do uh, he's done over there. As you can see right now how powerful the slipstream is. And tries it on the inside. Hugo keeps the defensive line. He has to go to the outside into the Lacombe Chicane. Still on the outside. That's going to be the inside for this corner, but it's going to be the outside for the next corner. Is he far enough ahead? No, he's not. Hugo is still on the inside. He leaves the space over there, but he can keep it. He's in second place right now. Is Hugo going to dive, dive immediately into Brussels? To the inside? No, he does not. What an amazing move from Rick 147. We'll have to see that again. Let's start replay! Let's get a book with Rick 147. Let's see what he does. And this is amazingly smart and... Thought through, as you can see, into Lasso's hairpin. Takes a different line over here, of course. Has the better exit. And you can see a huge slide from Hugo over there. Has the better exit, but pulls out of the slipstream over here. Why? He doesn't want to be too close into Eau Rouge because there is only one single line over there. And right now he jumps back into the slipstream and he's in the perfect distance from Hugo to get the perfect slipstream to pass him on the camel straight. If you're ready to close in Eau Rouge, you cannot make a pass left or right because it's only one line over there you can take to keep it full throttle. Amazingly thought through. Then brakes a little bit later compared to Hugo, but Hugo uh, releases his brakes and is still on the outside right now, but was on the inside and still tries it on the inside over here. Rickman 47 leaves the space, but is passed. Amazing stuff, but that's going to give Marnik a little bit of an opportunity to close up again for third or for second place. The fight for second place. But it's not going to be close enough. Nope. So he's on his own. Then we have Bonus in 5th. Gulik in 6th. Jopadex in 7th. And this is the closest battle we have right now. Unless Hugo can repass. Oh yes. Maybe he can repass him into Puhon. No he does not. That's difficult. You have to be side by side if you want to go into there. Oh and he tries it on the inside. He does. He makes the move stick. Hugo for 2nd place. But is it possible into uh, Peef Puff? As Monik told us. And he's still on the outside, and he's still in the, it's going to be the inside for the next corner. Rick 47 is still on the outside of Hugo, out of Pipoff. And here they're going to come into the first corner of Stavolo. Rick 47 on the inside, it's going to be the inside for the next corner as well. And the fight so much, Marnik is going to close up. Oh, yo, 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 what a battle. They left each other in a space. Oh, Hugo runs a little bit wide over there, that's going to cost him third place to Marnik, I think it is. Oh, and it's going to be difficult for him to keep that third place. Let's get a boat with Marnik and see how quickly he closes up. That's amazing stuff. Holy shit, I want to see that whole sequence, sequence again. It's the replay! Let's get a book with Hugo. Oh, no, that's a full lap back. Let's go full lap forward again. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, let's see it from here. As we sat, we had, of course, that slipstream. Oh, let's skip a little bit further. We saw this already. Yes, we saw this already. We saw this already. But here, into Puhon. First of all, Hugo is absolutely on the tail of uh, Rick 147, puts up a little bit of a defensive line, and that's why Hugo had a better exit out of the Puon, uh, the second Puon corner. Could put it up, um, slides it up the inside over here. It's going to be on the outside into Pif Puff. And Rick 147 holds his ground, 
but it's going to be outside over here holds his ground yet again and Hugo leaves enough space over there Rick 147 nearly runs to wide but is on the inside of the first corner of Stavolo and there is going to be a huge slide from both and Rick 147 just holds it together and here we can see Hugo runs a little bit wide onto the AstroTurf and does holds it together just about comes back onto the circuit but gives Marnik the opportunity to close up to Rick 147 and let's see the battle behind because this is not going to be close enough and here we have Gulik fighting for fifth place together with Bonus and Jopodex is right in the slipstream as well is Gulik going to make that pass into the bus up chicane we're nearly into the last lap Otto is still in the lead and Gulik tries to have a sniff on the outside tries to have a sniff on the inside but Bonus parks it on the apex over there and that's going to give Jopodex yet again the opportunity to close up with that little bit of a touch over there Oh, and here comes Jopodex on the inside of Gulik for sixth place, and he does. He goes a little bit wide over there. Gulik does the old switcheroo and is back in sixth place. Nicely done. Nicely performed. And Jopodex right on the tail of Gulik. But let's go a little bit further in front to see that five for second place. Is that done or not? No, it's not done. Hugo is still in the slipstream of Rick 147, and we're in the final lap right now. Arno is going to win this one unless he makes a mistake. Ho, ho, ho! <clears throat> and Rick 47 is again going to do perfect, nearly perfect this race. He's going to lose one point because Arno is going to finish uh, first. Uh, but he's going to gain that point yet again because he has the fastest lap. And I don't think he's going to get past. And we have Bonus still fighting over. Bonus, Gulik, and Jopodek still fighting over fifth place. Marek is on his own. Who else do we have? Where are uh, the other fights? A little bit further back. Let's see. Yeah, we have that fight with only left racing. Jdent, the idiot who crashed. And Coristus. Let's go a little bit further up front again. Oh, Jopodex passed. Gulik, yet again. Let's see that again. And it is done with me. Back, 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 Eddie, back. Oh, did he went a little bit too wide? We'll have to see that again. Did Gulik run too wide? Because it was possible for him to close up to bonus. And it's probably going to be the no-name corner. Oh, they both nearly run too wide. Yes, he runs in way too hard, way too deep. And there is the pass from the open X for fifth play, or for sixth place. Nicely done. Perfectly executed. Now let's go a little bit further up front. Here we have still Hugo following Rickman 47 really close. So it's still possible to get second place for Hugo. And Monik nearly in the slipstream over there. And then we have Bonus, of course, in fifth. Jopodex is sixth. Gulik is seventh. But let's get all the way up front. Let's see where Arno is. Arno is out of the second uh, Stavolo corner. Don't know how this straight is called. Let's go a little bit further back. Rick 147 pulled out of the gap over Hugo. So that's definitely going to be second place for him. And then we have Hugo in third. Monik in fourth. Bonus in fifth. Jopodex is sixth. Well, let's get all the way up front to our race leader. Here he comes. Arno, the reigning champion, is going to win this, uh, penultimate, <clears throat> the penultimate race. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Perfectly driven. Coming home in first. Arno, coming home in second. Rick 47, the championship leader. Hugo in third. Marnik in fourth. And there we have Bonus coming home in fifth. Jopodex is sixth. sixth. Then we have Gulik in seventh. Here comes Tamil in eighth place. Then we have only left racing in ninth. Jaded in tenth. <laughs> it's done with it. Coristus in eleventh. And he doesn't even want to finish, I believe. <laughs> what a race, guys! What an amazing overtakes over there. Ridiculous. <laughs> and that was only race number one. We still have another race to come. But first we're gonna take a short toilet break. And Caristus is, yeah, taking the piss again. <laughs> amazing stuff, guys. Amazing stuff. But it nearly didn't change anything in the championship standings. So we're going to take a little intermission, a small toilet break. Um, after that, we're going to come back with the second race. And we immediately already going to load it up. So we're done. And we're going to see the starting order. The starting order, of course... It's going to be the result of the first race, and we know the results. 
So let's go over here. Let's go to race number 12. Of the 12 races we have in a season. Let's load it up already. I really need to take a pee. <laughs> I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. So you can take a break as well if you want. Start the replay. Let's pause it immediately. Skip back a little bit. Put the race details on. But not yet. Oh, be right back. Back again. Oh my god. Yeah, Monik, it was a tough race for you, but eventually still finished up third, I believe. <clears throat> but we can show immediately, of course, the starting order. Oh, you ended up fourth. Yeah, okay. So we can show you the starting order. That's going to be the result of the first race, of course. It's going to be Otto in first place. It's going to be Rick 47 in second. Hugo in third, Monik in fourth, Bonus in fifth, Jopadex in sixth, Gulik in seventh, Tamil in eighth, only left raising in ninth, Jade and all the way into tenth, sure, changed cars, same as Tamil, Tamil does that as well. <clears throat> then we have Coristus in eleventh, and Troy rejoined again in twelfth. So let's get a, a nice overview. Let's get ready. Cheers. Let's get the headset on. <clears throat> Push that mic into your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Let's get ready for race number two. <clears throat> the final race of season number two. Who's going to be the champion? Let's see. Let's run you through it. Here we're going to go in. Three, two, one, go. Here we're going to go. Rick 147 has a better start compared to Otto as I see. And Hugo has a better start as well. And let's see who dives uh, first into the first corner. Into the app. And Amonic drives onto the grass and drops all the way back. Oh my god. What are you doing over there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, that gives Hugo second place definitely. Oh, he's on he's side by side with Rick 147. Into a rouge. And is it possible? Who's going to break the ladies side by side over there? Hugo slots in behind there. Then we have Bonus in fourth. Yopadex in fifth. Gulik in sixth. Tamil in eighth. 
Oh, yeah, 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 Marnik goes white yet again. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be, sh that's an absolute shitty start of Marnik. And here we have Rickwood 47 challenging Arnold for the lead yet again. And is he going to pass him into the, into the Lacombe? The, yeah, is it the Lacombe chicane? Yes, it is. And it's Rickwood 47 in the lead. Oh, no, no, tries to do the cutback over there. But Rickwood 47 blocks him over there. And Hugo passes Arnold as well. And Arnold drops back all the way to third. And Hugo has a huge big bucket wobble over there. And is it possible to repass him again? There we have a bonus on the inside of Arno. Arno is still in third. Hugo is still in second. Oh, we'll have to see all that again. But take a look at that glare. My God, I cannot see anything. But there we have bonus. And bonus drives by. Oh, no. And it crashes. And Chris is crashes in him. And everybody crashes. Oh, my God. What a pile up over there. My God. Everybody is all over the fucking place. Jesus bloody Christ. What the hell is going on? Marduk with a half second penalty. Troy backwards. Kuritz is backwards. Rein backwards. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a chaos. Shit all over the place. Meine Gute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go all the way up front. Let's see. Rick 147 in the lead. But with a half second penalty, we have Hugo in second. Then we have Arno in third. Jaden in fourth right now. In fourth. He started tenth. Then we have Tamil in fifth. Jobanex in sixth. Gulik in seventh. Only left racing in eighth. Marduk all the way back in ninth. Kuritz is... It crashed yet again in 10th. Then we have Troy had a huge, uh, had an accident as well, yet again, but not his fault. Then we have Reint with a half second penalty in 12th. <laughs> what the hell happened over there? Okay. Let's get a boat with you. You go in the lead right now. Oh, yeah, of course, of the half second penalty of Rickman 47. And is Ono going to pass him as well? Ono is going to pass him as well. But we'll have to go back to the start. One lap back. Let's get a ball. The instant replay! <laughs> nice, eh? On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So let's see it from the perspective of Hugo, the start. Yes, we're going to see it from his perspective in three, two, one. Here we're going to go. He has the best start out of the three. Uh, it's nearly the same. And Rico 47 has the better start. Yeah, Hugo and Rico 47 had a better start. Oh, and there we can see what happened to Monik. Let's skip a little bit back. Here's a replay. Here's a replay. Here we could see what happened to Monik. It's better to watch it from his perspective. Nobody else behind has a huge mega start or whatever. And he drives. Oh, he breaks just a little bit too late and drives onto the grass to avoid Rick 147. As we can see, he drops all the way back to 9th, to 10th, to 11th. Oh, yo, 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 what a shitty start. But let's get a little bit further up front because we have Rick 147 and Hugo going into Eau Rouge. And uh, Hugo thinks better of it. Let's go the throttle. It tries to get a slipstream. But as we can see right here behind it, Everybody's in the slipstream of Hugo, and Hugo is not really in the slipstream of Rick147. Uh, <coughs> Rick147 is gonna make the move on Arno. <clears throat> so the championship leader compared to, I believe, the third place guy right now, because Monagetta, not sort of, not such a good, a good race over there. Wow, take a look at this. Well, we'll have to see that again. Sorry, skip back. We can see because of the battle between Rick147 and Arno, how easily it is to close up and Hugo has an amazing line over here drives it immediately next to or drives up immediately next to Arno has a little bit of a tap over there that was a huge wiggy 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 wobble over there wasn't intentional I believe Arno leaves the space for bonus over here and let's get on board with bonus to see what happens to him let's get on board with Tamil let's start over there Tamil is on the inside gives bonus a little bit of a push and gets a push from behind and that pushes um right all the way into a huge pain over there what the hell what a huge pile up over there so everything is set up Rickman 47 is in the lead we have Hugo in second and Arno in third and Reint, because he's next to Arno, and Arno leaves the space over here, and throttles out a little bit, gives Tamil the opportunity because he had a better exit out of Brussels. Let's see it from this perspective. It's better to see it from Tamil's perspective right now. As you can see, bonus on the inside of Arno, leaves the space to Arno, <clears throat> tries to line it up better for... Um, the upcoming corner, the no-name corner. But because he leaves the space to for Arno to cut back and to get that corner 
better, it gives Tamil, because he has an amazing exit out of this corner, with that huge glare. This is ridiculous, man. But, <laughs> side note, but because he had that way better exit, and bonus went to the right and got out of the throttle to get a better exit of a better entry into the upcoming corner. It gives Tamil the opportunity to get on the inside. And let's see it from Jaden, his perspective. As you can see right now, he's on the inside and probably thinks right now, shit, this is too tight and bonus didn't expect him over here. So there is a bit of a drift over here. But Jaden has the speed and hits Tamil at the rear. Tamil is going to hit bonus yet again. That's going to put bonus in a spin. Then we have a little bit of a push from Yopadex. Whilst bonus is spinning. And Jaden is going to hit bonus again. So that's going to put him in another spin again. And then we have Caristus with way over speed. Going to hit Jaden in the rear. And he's going to hit <laughs> Reint again. And now finally goes it. But that's going to end up that <laughs> Gulik. It's taking avoiding action and is hitting um, Coristus as well. Meanwhile, Bonus is spinning out to the other side. And then we can see that Coristus is trying to take a little bit of a slipstream over here because he pushed Jaden and didn't get enough of a push of Gulik to have enough speed again. Pushes uh, Troy White over here. And <laughs> Troy is pushing Monik White. And that's how Coristus ended up backwards. And as we can see right now, Troy is going to spin out as well because he gets a push from Only Love Racing. Holy fuck. So we had Bonus in the crash. Goodness in the crash. Troy in the crash. Only Love Racing in the crash. Monik, as we can see as well, into this crash. Then we have Gulik was in, <laughs> implement, implemented in this. Then we have Yopadex, Tamil, and Jaden. So only the top three didn't include... <laughs> how they send it out and bend it out what the hell what the fuck <laughs> what the hell meine gute I want to see it again from Coristus's point of view because right now he's spinning up got reset probably is upset but let's go a little bit further back from his perspective and we have Gulik Troy, uh, Marnik, and uh, behind that, only left racing. So in that order, just behind him. As we can see right now, here comes the pileup. The opportunistic move from Tamil, but uh, invited by Bonus himself. Backs out, still gets a little bit of a drift. Then Jaden pushes Tamil. Tamil pushes Reint again. Then we have Yopadex pushing Jaden and then pushing Reind. And they both slow down that much that Chrysus is pushing Jaden forwards, then pushing Bonus. And now let's go a little bit further back to Troy to see it from his perspective. Now we can see that little bit of a bump into or from Chrysus into Bonus. Bonus is spinning out. Yopadex is meanwhile on the grass. Gulik can avoid nearly everything of it, but still hits Carissus a little bit. Bonus is gone right now, but the speed of Carissus is ridiculous right now. There we can see Monik and Only Left Racing closing up really fast. And Monik tries it on the outside of Troy, logically, because they're way slower. But Carissus cuts back to get the slipstream of Gulik, pushes Troy White. Because of that, he spins himself out. But pushes Monik as well and spins out Troy because uh, yeah, pushes Troy white. Troy tries to catch it, gets a bump from Only Love Racing and is backwards as well. So these two are left behind together with Bonus. Then we have Monik went white as well because of that here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, white in Puhan. Only Love Racing right in our 8th. Then we have Gulik in 7th. Yopadex in 6th. Tamil in 5th. Jaden in 4th. And then we have the top 3. But. Let's see that in full speed. From the perspective of Caristus. Yeah let's see it from his perspective. In full speed. 
TV cam mode. Let's see that again. Is this going to be a right angle? I believe so. Everybody all over the place. Left, right, and center. Yep, okay. Yep, and there goes only left racing, and there goes Monik, and there goes only left racing yet again. But let's go all the way up front, and let's see how it pans out over there. Then we have Rick 47 in the lead with a half second penalty. Then we have Hugo, uh, 40, uh, 54 in second. Then we have Otto in third. Then we have Jada, the fourth. Tamil in fifth. Jobinix in sixth. <coughs> Gulick with a half second penalty in seventh. Then we have Only Left Racing in eighth. And then we have uh, Marnik in ninth with a half second penalty. And Carissa and Troy all the way at the rear with bonus behind that as well. And let's see this. Here we have Hugo. Is he, he's. Well, he's going to pass Rick 147 for the lead because of the half-second penalty. And is it possible for Arno to pass him as well? Oh, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Arno is uh, in second yet again. And he started pole, of course. So he still has to gain that one place. And here we have Jade at the fourth. Tamil in fifth. Diopodex in second. Whoa, Tamil tries it on the inside of Jade over there. Break way later, later than Jade. Now let's see a little bit further back. Only left racing past Gulick as well, but that was because of the half second penalty of Gulick. And he's in eighth right now. Let's go a little bit further up front. Whoa, Rick 147 immediately tries it on Otto. He's on the inside. Oh, he tried, tried it on the inside with a better exit, but he has he does not. He's gonna be really close into a rouge. He doesn't do the same as he did with Hugo. He's probably gonna push him forward and bump draft him because he wanna get close to place number one. <coughs> here he comes together with Arno they're both gonna gain on Hugo and he tries it on the inside right now and Arno is gonna try it on the outside of Hugo is it possible for Rick 47 to take two places no it's not oh that's difficult over there they're really close together the number one two and three any other changes behind no yes the open X is in front of Tamil right now as we can see over here let's go a little bit further up front yet again here we have the battle Rick 47 just behind <coughs> Arno and Arno just behind Hugo. And Jaden pulls a little bit of a gap over Jopodex and Tamil because Tamil and Jopodex are fighting. Oh, and there goes Arno. No! The second place man drops it into the wall. Front bumper damage and left front suspension damage. All the way in night right now. No! What do you do? Dude! Troy, 070. There he is. Yes. Two in a row. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Two in a row, two with Caristas. Coincidence? I say not. <laughs> oh, just kidding. That was a really unfortunate. The last crash with everybody except the top three. So that means nine cars involved. Ah, uh, you can't blame it on anybody. That, of course, the sequence starts somewhere. But yeah. It was ridiculous, that one. Nine cars involved. And three cars really badly injured. That was Coristus, yourself, Troy, and Bonus. But let's see Arno. And it is everybody! What did you do, Arno? <clears throat> Here he is, just in front of Rick 47, just behind Hugo. And he's probably going to drive a little bit wide in the no-name corner. Oh, Hugo goes a little bit wide as well. And probably thought I should have a better exit. And he tried to, but hits the AstroTurf. And that's how you get... Oh, that's how you pin your car into barrier. Get front bumper damage and left front suspension damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. And look at all those blocks over there. But, oh, we saw somebody with a penalty. It's Gulick yet again. With half a second penalty, just behind only left racing. We see Monik in eighth, and as I said, Gulick in seventh, only left racing in eighth. Then we have Tamil in. Oh, sorry. There we have only left racing in sixth, Tamil in fifth. Then we have Jopodex in fourth, Jaded in third. Right now, because of. Uh, yeah, everybody gained the position except Hugo because Arno crashed. <coughs> Jaded in third. Jopodex in 4th, Tamil in 5th, only left racing in 6th, Monik in 7th, yet again a shitty race. Only the first corner was his own fault, after that it was a domino effect. Then we have Gulick in 8th, Arno in ninth right now, Caristus in 10th, Troy in 11th and Bonus in 12th, all the guys who crashed at the rear. 
<clears throat> to their own fault or not. As we can see, Monik is way faster than only left racing. And Tamil and Yopadex are closing up to Jaden. And we can see Rick 147 closing up to Hugo. Here they come again. The two championship leaders, or the championship leader and the second place man, fighting it out on track in the last race. But Rick 147 has to have an absolute shitty race. And he has the perfect slipstream yet again. To make the overstake stick. Is he going to defend the inside Hugo? He does. Rickman 47 is forced to go to the outside. Is he going to break later compared to Hugo? Hugo tries it. Leaves him enough space just about. But has the better exit speed out of the second part. And into the third part of the Lacombe chicanes. <clears throat> but because of that fighting. Jaden is going to close up yet again. <clears throat> Sorry. My voice is going to drop. Yes it is. And Yopadex and Tamil just behind. And we can see Monik already passed one left racing. Probably on the camel straight. I want to see that. Where? It's a Ripley! Yep. Yes, a perfect slipstream. Same as Rickman 47 did. Take a look at that. Perfectly set up. Here he comes. Nobody behind. Into sixth gear. After 255 kilometers per hour, you need to shift up to... Sixth gear, here he comes, breaks a little bit later, only left racing, tried to defend over there but couldn't. Whoa, and a huge slide over there from Monik, a big wiggy wiggy wobble over that, and only left racing nearly could retake sixth place. Whoa, that was risky, risky, really, yes, really. <laughs> but we have Rick 147 still fighting with Hugo for first place. Who's gonna take this one? Who's gonna take the last race of the season? As long as Rickman 47 stays, I believe, in the top. Well, if he finishes, I believe he's champion. So we nearly can crown him already, but we're going to wait until the end. We'll have to. One moment. It's still running smooth. Let's get back to this one. Yeah, it's reasonable. Let's help it out a little bit, the internet. Good, here comes Rick 147. Yet again with a purple sector over there. <clears throat> right in the slipstream of Hugo. Are there any other changes behind? Yopadex in front of Tamil. We saw that already. Marnik closing up to them. Probably. He's fast, we know that. And here comes Rick 147 out of Blanchemont. Is it possible into the bust of chicane? He goes to the outside. Hugo defends the inside. Oh, that's difficult to do. Does he try the old switcheroo? Rick 147. He does, but can he perform it? No, he does not. Hugo has a huge wiggy wiggy bubble out of the bust up. But no pass yet. Is it going to be until the source happen? Here comes Rick 147 yet again. No. Oh, Hugo has a defensive line, so it is possible for Rick 147 to have the better exit. To close up to Arouche and come out of Arouche onto Kemal straight to pass him. Oh, and take a look how close the battle is behind as well between Jaden, Jopadex, and Tamil. Then we have Marnik just in front of Only Left Racing in 6th and 7th. Then we have Gulik in 8th, Arno in 9th. Then we have Karistus in 10th, Bonus in 11th, Troy in 12th. And let's go all the way up front again. Here we are. The battle for first place. Hugo yet again defending on the camel straight from Rick 147. And Rick 147 is in the lead right now. But Hugo still tries it on the inside. And Rick 147 leaves it a space but has the overspeed over there to do it into the second part of the Lacombe chicane. Wow. Perfectly done. Perfectly executed. We'll have to see that again because that was for the race lead. Is there really? <clears throat> let's go back. Back. Back in the back. Did he? He... Perfectly put his car yet again out of Lesseau's happen. <clears throat> we'll have to see that. As you can see right now, he's really close by, but takes the perfect exit, but keeps the right distance, as you can see. Nobody behind, or well, not close enough for the slipstream at least. Chris is, by the way, at this moment with the fastest lap, and this is the perfect distance you want to have because it's only single file through Eau Rouge, and right now the slipstream is extremely going to work. It already worked in Rouge, and right now he can perfectly execute it. Take a look at that. In the middle of Camel Straight, pull out of it, get in front of it. Let's skip to Hugo. Tr still tries to hang on on the inside, but Rick has the overspeed over here. Trottles out over there and doesn't give Hugo the opportunity to dive on the inside over there to let it run just wide enough. Perfectly executed. Nicely done. That's why he's the championship leader. 
Nós. B E A Uniform. <laughs> and Yobadex is faster than Jaden. The Yobadex is right on the tail of Jaden. We still have to watch out for number one and number two as well. Well, let's keep an eye on that. And is there going to be any shenanigans in this race anymore? Anyhow. That still performs pretty damn good. Let's do this, okay. <laughs> and let's go a little bit further up front. Yeah, Rick 147 pulling out a gap over Hugo. Uh, over and we can see Rick 147 is faster, but Hugo is still on the slip seam, so we can benefit of that. Probably can pull out the fastest lap. Maybe, maybe not. Then we have Jade in the third, Joba takes a fourth, Tamila in fifth, then we have Marduk in sixth, Only Love Racing in seventh, Gulig in eighth. And here comes Arno in ninth. Tries to recover because of that crash. Then we have Christus in 10th. Also tries to recover. Then we have Bonus still in 11th. And Troy all the way at the rear. Um, they both crashed as well in 12th. And there we have Rickman 47 with the fastest lap. Sure. Why not? You're not fast enough yet. Boom. A 215. Yes. Hugo a second. Jaden and Jaden and Jopadex and Tamil are really close behind each other. Jopadex and Tamil are faster than Jaden is. And this is going to be an extreme battle to through Eau Rouge and then Camel Straight. And let's see how this is going to pan out. Here comes Jopadex with the perfect slipstream just as Rick 147 hat. Here he comes. Is that possible to make that move stick? Is it? Oh, is the move is gonna? Is it gonna end up well? No, it's not. Oh, there was a quite a defensive line, left, right, and center from Jaden, and Yopadex drops back to fifth place, and Tamil uh, slots into fourth place. What happened over there? You'll have to see that again. And it is everybody. Back, 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 Eddie, back, 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 Eddie, back. Here, into our roost. Let's see it from the perspective of Tamil. Oh, did it meant to push that button. And we can see Yopadex has the perfect slipstream compared to Jaden. And Jaden puts up a defensive line over here, puts up a defensive line, goes left and right. And oh, that was a bit of a, yeah, naughty move. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. There weren't any protests. So <laughs> I counted as legal. But Tamil, because of that. Could pass. Yopadex and Tamil is in fourth right now. Jaden is still in third and Yopadex is in fifth. Or oh, back in fifth right now. Monik trying to close up as well because of the fighting he can. Oh, it takes all the risk in the world to catch up. All oh, the track limit available to him. Now let's go a little bit further up front. Yeah, Rick 147 he nearly is out of the slipstream of uh, yeah, out of slipstream range of Hugo. Jade at the third, Tamil in fourth, Jopadex in fifth, Marnik in sixth, Gulik in seventh, only left racing in eighth, Arno in ninth, and there we have bonus, Troy, and Coristas all the way in twelfth. How did he end up in twelfth? What did you do? Yeah, another crash. How did he end up in twelfth? Yet again. And eleventh over here, and tenth over here. Did you spin out? Oh, he spun out. Oh, this is a shitty one. You have that bit of AstroTurf over there. And you should definitely not hit it with one of your rear wheels. Because you're going to spin out. And this is one of the most saddest crashes you can have. So low. Oh, and he got reset as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's really unfortunate, Garistas. It's a sad crash, but... I don't think you're the first one who made that crash. And that's how we ended up in 12th. Let's skip a little bit further. A little bit further. And let's get all the way up front again. Here we are. So Rick 147 pulling out a gap over Hugo. Hugo nearly not in the slipstream anymore. And here we saw the whole field. We're nearly done. About 10 minutes to go. We're in lap 5 out of 9. 
We're on the soft tyres, of course, so this race is going to be way faster compared to the first race because that was on the medium tyres and we saw a huge drift from Marnik yet again. Taking all the risk to catch up with Joe Padex. Gulick still holding up with Marnik. And Gulick, meanwhile, passed the only left racing. <clears throat> Is Gulick faster than Marnik? Wow. Marnik, you have to do better. <laughs> Let's go a little bit. Oh, huge big wagon wobble over there for Marnik yet again. He's pushing the car to the absolute limit. And here we have the closest battle, I believe. Yeah, Brick 147 is gone. Our championship leader and probably our upcoming champion is gone. Now we have Jaden in third, Tamil in fourth, Jopadek still in fifth, and Marnik in sixth. Well, let's keep an eye on this battle for third place. Here comes Tamil with the perfect slipstream, and Jaden, is he going to put up a defensive line? No, he does not. Is it possible for Tamil to pass him? No. Ugh. He just couldn't benefit of it. And we can see Tamil is faster than Jaden, so Jaden is probably going to lose third place. Oh, and a huge slide over there from Jaden into Brussels. <clears throat> And Tamil still right on his tail. Right on his tail. And as we can see, Marnik just behind it. Oh, Marnik already had a half second penalty. There's going to be a one second penalty right now. Probably a full second penalty. And drops, oh, one and a half second penalty. And he drops back all the way behind Gulick. What do you do? Yet again a mistake. Where's the red light? I think the first one is... The first half second penalty is... Because of Orouge. Well, let's keep it on play, play, play. It's already a full second. Oh, you skipped the whole part of Orouge. Yeah, that's a full second penalty. That's a full second penalty. You know that. And I know Orouge is difficult with a controller, but it's easy, easy flat out with a with a steering wheel. It's difficult with a controller to do. I know. Well, I do not know. I know you said it a lot of times, so that's why I know. And we can see that battle a little bit further up front between Jaden and the mill. But here it comes. And Monica's is probably going to run white. Oh, runs white coming into this corner. Yeah, and then it runs white over there. And that's your extra half second penalty above the one second penalty you already have. And that's one and a half second. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a shitty race for Monica so far. And then we have only left racing an eighth with half second penalty as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, one and a half second penalties. Penalty. That's going to drop him back, I believe, behind. Bonus. But let's go a little bit further up front. Here we still have the fight between Tamil and Jay Dent. And we can see Tamil keeps it up quite nicely with Jay Dent. Here he comes. Towards Blanchemont, has the slipstream right now. <laughs> yeah, I saw you kept it flat out, Monik. <laughs> I saw that. For show, show. Go on to the grass, drift wide, and paddle to the metal. Nice strategy. <laughs> Here we go again. We can see Rick 147 is loose of Hugo. So it's going to be the battle for third place and fourth place and fifth place right now between Jaden, Tamil, and Jopadex. And probably Gulick as well. Jaden already puts up a defensive line, tries to break the slipstream before Orouge, but this is going to be the perfect slipstream for Tamil. Right in the slipstream right now. Doesn't run too wide. Perfect line for him. <clears throat> yes, right on the tail. Is Jaden going to put up a defensive line? He does or does he not? Yes, he does. And Tamil is on the outside over there. And is going to pass him on Camel straight. Is Jaden going to keep the inside? Yes, he does. No, he does not. Oh, he runs him a little bit wide. Oh, that was right on the limit. And that gives Jopadex the opportunity to pass Tamil for fourth place. Oh, yo, 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 yo. 
What's that? A little bit too much and too naughty? Is the remake! Let's see that again. From Tamil's perspective. Back, 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 Eddie, back. You have that perfect slipstream out of Orush onto Camel Street. Here we can see it already in sixth gear. Way over speed for Tamil compared to Jaden. And Jaden breaks just a little bit later. Oh, pushes Tamil a little bit wide. Wah, oh, wah, wah. They both make the corner, but can you call it making the corner? Was that a little bit of a push? Was that too much? Well, Tamil stays in, but yeah, you have to stay in at a certain point. And if Tamil wasn't there, <clears throat> maybe Jaden couldn't make the corner. Ah, difficult one, but this is going to give Jopinex the opportunity to pass Tamil for fourth place. And I remember, because it's me, myself and I, Jaden, that I wanted to give the place to Tamil, but Jopinex was in between and I didn't want to give up two places. So I was trying to figure out when to do it, how to do it. And if it was at the end, I would give it back to Tamil, but we're going to see how that pans out. Ah, okay. Monik talked about not the no-name corner, but Eau Rouge. He said, no, in Eau Rouge. Was on the wrong line. Was going to get a penalty anyway. He knew already he was going to run white. So he kept it flat out and straight lined it. Woo! <laughs> meep, meep. Let's see it from Yopodex's perspective. Because take a look at this. Here we have that slipstream battle between Tamil and Jaden. And we can see Tamil has the overspeed, as we said before. Jaden breaks a little bit too late. There is a small little push over there, and they run wide, both of them. Tamil just makes the corner, and because of this, uh, because of Yopodex can take the normal racing line, could easily pass Tamil. But right now, Jaden cannot or does not repass of that Tamil repass because he doesn't want to give up the place to Yopodex. But we have a battle of three guys for third place yet again. We have Jaden, Yobadex, and Tamil. And Gulick is not far behind as well. Rick 47 still on the lead. You go behind it. But that is not really exciting anymore. Except that there's going to be any mistakes. And there's a little bit of a fight behind there as well. Between Only Love Racing, Bonus, and Marnik. But let's go a little bit further up front. Because that fight for third, for, yeah, third place is way more exciting. <coughs> Excuse me. And Yopinex is faster than Jaden is. We saw that already, but he dropped back a little bit. And Tamil is faster than Jaden as well. Here comes Yopinex. Right on the tail of Jaden. Is it possible to overtake him into Blanchemont? Ah, Blanchemont. Ah, oui. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Is there going to be an opportunity into the bus stop chicane? Yopodex tries it on the outside. Does he try to fake to the outside and go to the inside? No, he does not. He's on the outside over here. Oh, Yopodex pushes Jaden to the inside. Tried to steer in a little bit early to give him a, himself a little bit of extra space over there. Did he or did he not? I think I saw that. Is that really? I want to see that. Did he push to the inside? Did he just simply notch him? Yep. Bye, yeah. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> the battle for third place is going to be between four cars right now. He's still break 147 in the lead. You go in second. And here, the battle for third place. Jaden tries to park it on the apex to make sure they slow down enough and give himself a little bit of more extra space. But this is going to be the perfect slipstream for Yopodex. The same as Tamil at the last lap. Is Jaden going to defend extremely hard yet again? Take a look at the overspeed already for Yopodex. And uh, Yopodex is probably going to shift up to sixth gear quite soon. He does not. He does. Yes, sixth gear already. 
and Jade is still in fifth gear. Here he comes, tries to fake to the outside, then to the inside. Oh, the defensive line there from Jopadex and Tamil. And oh, there's a little bit of a push over there, and Jopadex runs a little bit wide. Uh, Tamil is back and forth. Gulikan in fifth. Jopadex tries it yet again and uh, comes back to fifth place. Then we have Gulik still fighting for fifth place together. And then we have to Jopadex on the inside of Tamil. And Jopadex is in fourth right now. Tamil back in fifth. And then we have Gulik over there. Oi, 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 oi. What went on over there? Holy shit, balls of fire! Where's that replay? <laughs> back, 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 any back. Let's get a ball with Yopadex. And let's see that slipstream. First of all, there we have Tamil right behind us and Gulik behind that. All in the slipstream. Jada in the benefit of the... Uh, in the deficit, I must say. Sorry. In the deficit over there. We have that slipstream battle over here. There we can see a defensive move from Jaden. Does he go a little bit to the inside? Yes, he goes a little bit to the inside. Uh, that was the fake move, and yeah, nothing really on the hand. Nothing on the hand over there. Jaden parks it perfectly on the apex. That gives Tamil the opportunity to go a little to go onto the inside, but there was a little bit of a touch of Tamil and uh, Yopadex over there. Tamil slows it down. Let's Yopadex repass again. To Gulik tries to profit of that. Here we can see Tamil on the outside. Then. Yopadex still on the inside, Gulik cannot profit of that, and that's how they slot in behind each other, and we have Yopadex still in 4th, Tamil in 5th, and Gulik still in 6th, oi oi oi, but this gave Jada the opportunity to pull away, and there's only 1.5 laps to go, let's go a little bit further back, because we still have that battle, 7th place between Ono and Marnik, wow, let's go a little bit further up front again, Ono and Marnik, did gain a lot. <clears throat> They're really fast. Here we have to buy, fight for fourth place between Yopadex and Tamil. And here goes Yopadex. Still in fourth place. Then we have Tamil in fifth. Gulik in sixth. And Arno and Monik. Arno. Uh, the guy in fourth place and Marnik the guy in third place in the championship in seven and eight right now that's not good for your championship is it no it's a not and that's Ferry eh who's Ferry I don't know oh we can see a battle here for fourth place right now between Tamil and Jopadex Jopadex put up a defensive line into the bus of chicane and Tamil couldn't benefit of that <clears throat> is it possible into the Lasso's happen here they're gonna come and Gulik still on the Finkertau <laughs> what? What the hell? And here we have the final lap. Who's gonna end up first, second, third, fourth, or and so on? We still have that fight for first place, and I believe they're quite close together right now. Still, Rickman 47 in the lead. Then we have Hugo in the slipstream, but not close enough. Then we have Jade at the third, loose from the guys in fourth, fifth, and sixth place. And this is going to be the closest battle we have. Then we have Tamil in fifth. Jopadex still in fourth. Jopadex again with a defensive line. And that's going to slow them down compared to Jaded. And Tamil tries it on the outside into the Lacoom chicane. And Gulik with yet another half a second penalty. Sure, why not? Tamil couldn't make the pass stick into the Lacoom uh, chicane. And are they faster than Jaden? Probably, but I don't know. I cannot see right now. Do they close up to Jaden? No, not really. No, oh, Yopadex has a huge drift over there, but keeps it together. Oh, Yopadex and Tamil goes a little bit wide and runs it into the ball. No, that could have been a fourth place for Tamil. Front bumper damage and left left front and right front suspension damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you do? No, the last lap. And we can see Monik running wide as well, but probably only going to get a penalty. That was in the background. It's the replay! Oh, yeah, 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 Tamil, what did you do? He ran a little bit wide. We can see Yopadex running a little bit wide, but a huge drift over there. Amazingly uh, safe and amazingly perfectly on the limit, but that makes Tamil run a little bit too wide because he wants to gain and ran, slams it into the battery as uh, the same as the second guy in this race did, Arno. And Arno repasses Tamil, as we can see there. And then we can see Monik in 8th place, but why so far behind Ono? Why? Why are you that far behind Ono? Let's go a little bit back, back. Let's go a little bit further back. What did you do over here? Oh, yo, 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 That's a huge 360 and got reset. I'm gonna give you 
a seven for that. A seven. Nice spin. Take a look at this. Breaks too late. Takes avoiding action as he did in the first corner at the Lasur's hairpin. Drifts it wide. Makes a full 360 with a little bit of a barrier touch and immediately gets reset. Nice. Nicely done. Yeah, seven. If you didn't touch the barrier, I would give you a nine for that spin. <laughs> but as we saw, here we have the half spin from Tamil because he ran wide onto the AstroTurf. Boom! It's his front of his car so hot, his front suspension is damaged as well. And that's going to give sixth place to Arno. And whoa, we have a huge slide over there from uh, Gulik. Let's go a little bit back. And uh, instant replay, and instant replay. Instant replay, instant replay, instant replay, instant replay, instant replay. Instant replay. <laughs> Let's see that slide from Gulik into Puon. Because it's going to be huge. Oh, take a look at that. Whoa, yo, 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 yo. And the other, another slide. What the hell? How do you kept it on the tarmac? Take a look at this. Here he comes. Runs a little bit wide over here as well, but keeps it on the tarmac. There goes the mill. Bye bye, swai swai. But here, drops it on the curb. Huge drift into Puan number one. Drops it on the astral turf. And a huge wiggy wiggy wobble. Wiggy 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 wobble. Wow. Amazing car control. Well, that's going to give fifth place to Arno if you keep it up like that. Drifting all over the place because you have a half second penalty. And let's go a little bit further to front. Brickwood 47 still in the lead. You go a second. Then we have Jade in the third, Jopodex in fourth, then we have Gulik in fifth, uh, in, uh, yeah, fifth, and he's gonna, oh, Jopodex backwards, no, what are you doing? Front bumper damage as well, into, into sixth right now, and Tamila's gonna repass him again, into seventh, oh, yeah, 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 it's the replay! Oh, yeah, 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 Jopodex, what are you doing? Could have been a perfect fourth place. Maybe even a third place if Jaden made another mistake. And there it is on the AstroTurf as well. A little bit too wide. Your left rear tire onto the curb. Drops back behind Tamil again. Maybe behind Marnik as well. Let's skip a little bit further. Let's go all the way. Yep, here comes Marnik. He's probably going to pass you for seventh place. Here he comes into the slipstream. You have front bumper damage. You have less arrow or more drag, I should say, because of that. Let's go a little bit further to front. Here's the fight for fourth place. Oh, no, on the outside. He did the best of Chicane. He makes that stick. Wow, what a move. We'll have to see that again. And, of course, the guys who finished the first and second. But, first of all, this replay. It's the replay. How the hell did Ono do that? Going all the way up to fourth. He was sixth, seventh at the beginning of this lap. Take a look at that. At the beginning of this lap is seventh. So let's skip, skip, skip. Here, here, the rewind. So behind here, this is the first shit that's gonna hit the fan. We have Monik dropping it. Bye bye, swai swai, toodaloo, and got dropped back and reset. Now, a little bit further up front. So let's skip. Here we have the first place he's gonna gain. That's the mill. Fucking it into the barrier. <laughs> now let's skip a little bit further up front. Of course he's going to gain right now because of the two drifts of Gulik in both Puhon corners. Let's skip a little bit further up front yet again. And then we're going to see Yopodex pulling a huge drift and fucking it into the barrier as well. There he goes. Bye bye. Swai swai. Now that half second penalty of Gulik is going to be extremely costly over here because Otto is on, a, on the move. <clears throat> so we gain two places to Yopodex and to Mill already. And right now, is going to gain so much in the slipstream right now into Blanchemont. And is going to make the outrageous and dairy move on the outside of the bus stop chicane. Here it comes. Breaks later. Let's it roll. Oh, and drifts it wide to the inside. Parks it perfectly on the apex. Has a huge piggy wiggy piggy wobble out of the chicane. And there he comes in fourth. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What an end of the race for Arno. Eventually finishing fourth. How the beep did you do that? But let's go a little bit back, 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 any back. Because we had that, whoa, we had that fight for first place still. 
So here it is, Rickman 47, just in front of Hugo. Hugo tries to close up into the bus stop chicane, but Rickman 47 is going to hold it together and is going to be the absolute champion. And is going to be crown champion. Coming home in first, nearly winning every single race. Hugo in second is going to be the second in the championship as well. Then we have Jaden coming home in third. Nicely done. Finally a podium yet again. And then we have Otto, as we said, coming home in fourth. Then we have Gulick just behind it. A solid race in fifth. Too bad of that penalty. And Tamil with that crashes, still coming home in sixth. And then we have Marnik with huge crashes as well. Coming home in sixth of a seventh. Then we have Jopodex in eighth. And then we have Bonus in ninth with crashes. Only uh, left racing, probably with crashes as well. In tenth, then we have Kurisus in eleventh. And Troy all the way at the back with another half second penalty. All the way in twelfth. Wow, and Rickman 47 with the fastest lap. Woo! That's definitely by far the championship for Rickman 47. He made it happen. He made it stick. What a season from him. <clears throat> and we're going to pull up the standings, the championship standings, to let you see how did it all end up. Take a look at that. For Rig 147. And we're going to go to that sheet. And we're going to highlight it. So as we see. With the four scrape results. Wow. He ends up with 124 points. In total. That's with the four scrape results included. Or excluded. I don't know how you want to say it. It's included. Include the four scrape results. Make sure the four are excluded. And those are these two races. The first two with seven points and ten and a half. And then the two non-races or did not starts. So it's going to be 16 points, 16 points, 14 points, 15 points. And after that, a full run of four races. Oh no, nearly, nearly. But 16 points, 16 points, 15 points, 60 points. Absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> that is a champion by far and definite but as we can see Otto eventually ended up in second place he was in fourth no was he in fourth no he was in third place no he was in fourth place just before we started right yeah he was in fourth place with 97 points and do we see what I see yeah we see what I see um, that's because of the last two results, 15, finishing uh, first, but not the fastest lap in race number 11, and in race number 12, eventually still ending up in 12th, and those two are better than the two did not starts, but also the four points over here, and the 11 points over here, so we both gained in both races a lot, nicely done, Arno. So the reigning champion is the runner-up right now. <clears throat> um, the reigning champion, or the reigning champion right now, is Rickman 47. But the, the last champion, Otto, of season number one, ended up eventually in second. Quite far behind Rickman 47, but still nicely done, Otto. And then we have Hugo, eventually only one point behind Otto, with 108 points and had an, an amazing season but could have done a little bit better over here but we can scrape the seven and nine of course then we have a 10 score over here that we can scrape what stop it <laughs> and uh, this makes it easier that 10 points can be scraped and after that we have a 12 points one of these two can be scraped oh no the seven and the nine here yeah, 7 and a 9, the 10 and a 12, yeah. With 108 points in 3rd. Then we have Marnik finishing up in 4th. By the way, that was your whole top 3. Rickman 47, Arno and Hugo. Nicely done. And Hugo was last season uh, the champion of Group B. And now 3rd in Group A immediately. Nicely done, dude. Amazing speed and amazing solid, solid season. Then we have Marnik. Had a shitty start at the beginning of the season. Had a bit of a shitty in between with the 9 and 10th race. And the last two races were iffy as well. But still got quite decent points. 
but could have been better. Especially these two. Races number 9 and 10 could have been better. And the starting of the season. But 101 points, 4th in the championship. Then we have Walters. He didn't compete the last two races. So we got stuck on 97 points, finishing up in 5th. By the way, the founder of uh, race team Walters. Then we have Bonus. All the way in 6th. With two reasonable races. Well, first race was okay. Second race was shitty. And reversed for Jadent behind that. And he's in, he has 91 points. And Jadent has 90 points. And finishing up in 7th. But I should have the exact same number as... Bonus should have. Because this result... Oh no, is it this result? Yeah, this result should be swapped with this result. But whatever. Doesn't change my position. I finished up 7th <clears throat> in this championship. And then we have Tamil finishing up with 87 points in 8th. Then we still have uh, Chris VS28 in 9th uh, with 71 and a point one points. And then we have Caristas in 10th with 69 points. And Yopodex, unfortunately, with 66, 66 points out of the top 10. What a season, guys. What a season. Amazing, amazing stuff. Bloody fucking hell. Let's show that again. Okay. <laughs> Conclusion. Join us next season yet again. Upcoming Wednesday, we're going to start with the first race of season number three and we don't know the track yet of course the track is always decided by the wheel of fortune it's going to be the same for format but this time we're going to use a different car and it's going to be a group four car the toyota supra it's going to be exciting going to be nice going to be fun join us tune in every wednesday eight o'clock um gmt plus one is that GMT? I don't know if it's GMT. General of the... Uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Yeah. GMT plus one. <clears throat> 8 p.m. And yeah, you know this format by now. Tune in then. On Fridays, I do the recap of Group A. And on Saturdays, I do the recaps of Group B. If possible, of course. Because um, right now, it's already Saturday and it's Group A. Yeah. With that all being said, congratulations to the championship uh, for Rickman 47, Arno finishing second, and Hugo finishing third. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.